Thank you, Ashley, and thank you to everyone for joining us here today for our seminar this morning, focusing on why document management is critical for your maintenance staff. And um, as you can see from uh, the background logos, our uh, webinar this morning will center around uh, the Meridian product from Accruent. Just a little background before we get started. Just uh, one quick slide on Hagerman and Company, uh, which is where Ashley and I are from. Uh, our company has been around a good number of years, you can see now over 35 years, constant ownership and management, offices spread out over and serving the entire United States. And uh, from a data and document management standpoint, we've been doing implementations for over 25 years, done over 1,200 successful customer projects, and we actually offer multiple different systems. So we uh, work with each particular customer and help them determine what system is gonna be right for them, rather than uh, one system that we offer to everyone. Although today we're focusing on the Meridian product, but we also <laughs> we also offer products from Autodesk, uh, their Vault product line, and Synergist Adept. And Accruent is the parent company over the Meridian product, formerly known as Blue Cello Meridian. And Accruent is really focused on uh, companies managing their physical resources, space assets so the meridian product uh, fits right into that sphere and the meridian product itself has a number of target industries um, we can see here and um, probably all or most of you are from some of these industries things like oil and gas utilities chemical pharma metals and mining um, engineering contractors transportation food and beverage pulp and paper government, uh, a lot of education, hospitals, telecom, airports, banks, so really kind of a who's who uh, among those industries are Meridian, already Meridian, Meridian customers and users. Now Meridian is a very flexible system in terms of how it can be deployed. Uh, it can be deployed uh, in, on on-premise servers, could be at a, a particular site of yours, in uh, your company's central data center or in the cloud, uh, such as uh, Amazon Web Services Data Center, Microsoft Azure, or uh, Meridian has a cloud-based product and hosting hosted solution of their own. And then Meridian clients, as we'll talk about and see, uh, they can be desktop-based, uh, browser-based or mobile devices. So a lot of deployment and usage options with the Meridian product. And then the products or platforms, Meridian Enterprise is their installed solution. Uh, Meridian Cloud Business is the cloud-hosted software as a service or SaaS-based version of Meridian. And then there's another tool called Meridian Cloud Project, which is cloud hosted specifically for project collaboration uh, with your outside contractors, architecture and engineering firms. Um, we're not going to be focusing on that particular product here today. And Meridian, the, the key, one well, of the key things with Meridian or maybe the key thing with Meridian in these types of environments is its seamless integration across providing general document management, advanced CAD integration and file management, easy 24 seven search view print, uh, support for engineering projects to help manage uh, the projects and phases and documents for your projects, keep the, the project copies separated from your as built or masters, and then automate the handover once a project is complete. Uh, also, collaboration with outside parties, like we talked about with the Meridian portal, 
And then um, one of the key things we're going to hit on here today is the linking of documents to related assets. I see your, your maintenance people, when they go to get information, you know, they're thinking about the piece of equipment they're looking at that they're needing to repair or maintain. They're not thinking in the context of documents. So as we see in Meridian, uh, we're going to be showing how uh, a maintenance person can uh, plug in information about the asset or piece of equipment they're looking at and then get all the documents they need to do the job. Um, so really these two aspects of Meridian are what we're going to be focusing on here today. And then also um, Meridian will interface with um, most of the popular maintenance management systems on the market today. So for instance, here's an example with Maximo, where this is the Maximo software client, a user is in it, they're looking at a particular equipment or asset record, and then click the engineering button, engineering documents button, and up pops a preview of all of the current most up-to-date documents relating to that asset or piece of equipment. Uh, so you can retrieve Meridian documents from Meridian to do your job from Maximo, SAP plant maintenance, a whole host of other um, maintenance or asset management systems. You know, then getting into the, the question that we raised about why document management is critical for maintenance staffs. Um, I think a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory, but we'll, we'll run through them here for a bit. Um, with a good document management system in place, so your documents are organized, controlled, up to date, you know, it really helps ensure that that staff has the info to do their job correctly. And then as you'll see in Meridian, uh, having a system like this helps them find that information much more quickly so you can maximize uh, what's known in a lot of cases known as wrench time. So your maintenance people are actually able to spend their time working on equipment, doing their real job, rather than searching around trying to find the information they need to do the job. Um, then that helps lead to better compliance. Uh, so if you have you know, safety regulations, um, FDA requirements, having a controlled system like Meridian really helps uh, uh, maintain and improve your compliance capabilities. Uh, also, if your organization has maintenance planners who build packages or work packages of documents uh, to then distribute to your maintenance staff, um, a good organized document management system like Meridian helps those team members build those work packages much more quickly and accurately. And then as you'll see in some of the search interfaces with Meridian, this is all available 24 seven, um, not reliant on um, people who work eight to five Monday through Friday to be there to find documents. Anybody can get in at any time to find what they need to get their job done. Um, then Meridian, of course, it centralizes knowledge. So you've got one central repository that has all your relevant documents controlled, up to date. Uh, then with that, you know, as you bring on new staff, they don't need to know all the, the different secret hiding places where information might lie. It's all in one place. Um, also, we run into it a lot, a lot of organizations. It's hard to find documents. So you have staff members whirling away old paper copies to work off of. Um, so they don't have to repeat the same searches. You know, the problem is that those old paper copies can be out of date, which can cause problems. Um, and, you know, a lot of these maintenance jobs can be, can be difficult, uh, dealing with high pressure lines, dealing with high voltage, uh, places, uh, you know, high temperature. Um, so it's critical to have a system that's going to give the staff the correct update 
updated, most up-to-date information so they can do their job safely to make what can be dangerous work much more safe to do. As far as the, the software and modules we're going to look at today, uh, we're going to look at the Meridian Power Client, which runs in a web browser. And uh, that's where your document controllers would work or people who are checking in, checking out, making changes. Uh, of course, it has all the, the search capabilities. Then we're also going to look at Meridian Explorer, which is the search view print client, also runs in a web browser. We're going to take a quick look at Meridian Mobile, uh, which allows maintenance staff members uh, with mobile devices to pull up documents and information, you know, right at the piece of equipment they're working on. Uh, and also you can see here, um, we won't be demonstrating it today, uh, the maximum integration and SAP plant maintenance integration. Yeah, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the software. I can flip over to that screen. I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah, so we can launch our different applications from here. And if we go into the Meridian Power User, in it, the documents that you're managing are organized into folders and subfolders, just like in Windows Explorer. And we've got looking kind of our, our master hierarchy. Um, you know, so the, your master documents, those are the ones down in this hierarchy um, that your people will be accessing and working off of. So we'll be taking a look there. Then uh, to show the linking with assets or piece of equipment in the, the tag area, we've also got asset information we'll be looking at. And then we'll show how our tags and our documents are linked. So I can go to a, a tag or piece of equipment, see all the documents that relate to it, or I can go to a document and see all uh, the pieces of equipment that it pertains to. So those are really going to be the two areas that we're focusing on here today. And of course, you know, if um, somebody wants to come in and find a document either in the Power Web or you can do a, a very similar thing in the Explorer, um, if you're just a search view print user, you can, of course, browse the hierarchy. So I can go in looking for a master document. I know it's for our Brazil, Sao Paulo, and it's an electrical drawing, and it's a CTD, and I can see my different documents here, and I can click through them, get a preview, of each one of them. And then if I want to view any of them, I can click my view button and get more of a detailed view. I can make this full screen, zoom in, zoom out. I can print um, so we can see a detailed view. Uh, this is looking at the DWG file or Meridian will generate PDF renditions automatically, which can be easier for a lot of people to work with. So we can take a look at the PDF. Oh, I can also go and look at my revision history. So if you are a user who needs to go back to past revisions, those are all right there at your fingertips. Uh, also, I can go in and I can see more detailed property information. So I can see okay, this particular drawing. I can see all of the information about it. Some of this we've seen before. Um, also, then you can see uh, I've plugged it in. Um, this is asset number one, two, three, four, five. I've plugged it in here as kind of a search property we'll get back to. Um, so that's kind of your kind of your document portal to see all this information and track it. Um, with Meridian, I can also go in and uh, not go through my standard folder structure, but I can create whatever whatever navigation views I want to allow me to drill down and find 
documents. So for instance, if I go to um, my building breakdown navigation view, and let me get back to the top. We'll start at the top again. You can see here, I can drill down a little bit differently, Brazil, Sao Paulo, no, excuse me, I want to go to the Netherlands. And we've only got one location in Reichwick. And this is, and we know we're in building B1, area 105 on the oil floor. And then find our documents. So the navigation views give you various different ways to drill down and find documents besides the folder view. Uh, we can also do searches. Uh, so for instance, if you do put equipment number as a property of each document, you can search and retrieve that way. So if I type in one, two, three, four, five, as that property search, you know, and there's the document we were looking at earlier, because I'd said I'd put this in as my equipment tag number. Now that's a, a pretty crude way to do things. Um, so we're gonna look at some, some better ways to uh, get between uh, documents and tag numbers here in a bit. Um, we can also, and this is very handy for uh, work orders and work packages. So for instance, uh, I'm the maintenance planner. I'm putting together a work package. Uh, somebody needs to work on uh, later today, tomorrow, or next week. I can pick this document and then say, add that to a collection. And I'll add that to work order 2020-1 collection. Now at any point, Let me get back to where I was. With a single click, anyone can go to work order 2020-1, and there's all of the documents organized together in that uh, collection for that particular work order. Now, if we go back to our folder view and look a little bit at our tag information. So tag information can be imported into Meridian. That can come from you know, any database or databases or spreadsheets you have or any existing maintenance management system you have. Then once the tags in, are in there, they can be linked up to your documents. So you can see I can go in here and I can see information on my piece of, pieces of equipment. And again, these property pages, both on the documents and the tags, they can be whatever properties and organization you want. So then, um, either in the Power Web Client or the Explorer, someone in the office or out in the facility, they can walk up, type in their tag number, off the piece of equipment, and it will find that tag in the system. I can see information on it. Yeah, see my tag information. Then if I click on where used, this shows me all of the documents related to that piece of equipment. So if somebody's gonna do some work on this piece of equipment, here's all the documents they need in order to do that. So I could click over to this drawing. And I should mention the server that I'm running on. My Meridian server is actually in a data center somewhere. Uh, so everything I'm doing here from a performance standpoint this is going over the internet to a remote server. 
Um, so if you did have a, a local server in your um, plant or office, everything would be much, much quicker. So I'm, I'm not, and I'm not on a high speed internet at all uh, connecting to this remote server. Yeah, so we can see that particular document. And let me get back to, or then this particular document. Bear with me a second here, let me get back to. Yeah, so I can jump back and forth between my pieces of equipment and my documents. So each, um, each piece of equipment shows all of its relevant documents. Each document shows all the pieces of equipment that it's linked to. And I wanna go over to the Explorer client which is this here. Um, so then in the Explorer client, we're looking at the same information. Just a little bit different format. So if I type in that same equipment number, there it is. And then here's all, I could go to uh, my details tab. So actually here's all of the documents related to that piece of equipment presented right in front of me. And then I can bring any of them up and view them right here. or this interface has kind of a nice guided search. So I could say, I know I'm working with, I'm in the Exton plant. I'm in the iron factory building. Well, in fact, let me clear that. I'm just gonna say Exton search and that returned 1,607 documents. So I can narrow this down and say, well, I know I'm in the iron factory building. And that narrows me down to 730 documents. And I know my, I'm looking for an electrical drawing. So I go discipline electrical. That gets me down to 131. And then it's classification code AED. And now I can see any, here's, now I'm down to two documents. I can preview them or fully view them. I'm gonna try that again here. I'm occasionally getting some timeouts connecting to that uh, remote server. Um, so then again, you know, from my assets or my documents, I can find anything that I need. Or I can do an equipment tag search. Also, you can see collections here. So anybody with the Explorer can click on collections and see all those collections that have been uh, pre-made for the work packages that are going on. And so here I can do a similar search. I can say I'm looking for a piece of equipment search. I should get a bunch of them, 309. And then I'm looking at my functional location distillation. And so now, since I'm looking, I'm searching specifically for pieces of equipment, it just returns those equipment records and you can see I can click through any of them. And then for each document, each equipment record I select, there's all of my documents presented right in front of me.
So we've looked at uh, the Power Web for your main users. We've looked at the Explorer client um, for your search view print users using uh, you know, a, a browser on a PC or laptop. Then the last thing we want to take a look at or talk about and then look at is Meridian Mobile. And there's a lot of features of Meridian Mobile, but again, here we're really just focusing on you know, making the documents available to the maintenance staff as they need them. Um, well, Meridian Mobile you know, has direct access to Meridian Vault, can run on iOS, Android, or Windows 10 devices, and offers full secure authentication. So the idea is, you know, with a mobile device, people have access to the latest information, find documents related to assets, find assets related to documents. So you can do all the types of searches that I showed you in Power Web and Explorer. The other thing that Meridian Mobile adds is that you know all of these mobile devices have cameras. And with Meridian Mobile, you've got the ability to use that camera to scan a barcode or a QR code on the piece of equipment and retrieve the drawings or documents. So in that case, you know, nobody's gonna type in a wrong number. It's just gonna all be done automatically. And then we'll take a look at a quick video on that. I get to my right window. my mouse to point you to where I'm tapping. Views defined in Explorer, such as documents and assets, show up here, and the user can use them. Also, search capabilities allow you to find both documents and assets. We quickly found 80-some documents, and we can see that some of them relate to assets. Also, the search parameter found about 200 assets. That's a lot to sift through. So let's use the camera to scan a barcode on a pump, emulated here by scanning a barcode on a Word document. Meridian Mobile finds the asset, and tapping on the asset, we see the 10 related documents. From the document list, we can see that some of them relate to other multiple assets. We can see the information about the PNID, and using the icon at the top right, we can also download the document for offline access. Tapping on the thumbnail, we can see and zoom into the PDF. We can also print it when our device has any printers configured. Let's go back. All right, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick look at that capability and what it looks like. And that really concludes what we had here to show today. We wanted to do kind of a, a short, targeted, or focused presentation on this uh, particular area and feature set. So as Ashley mentioned, at the top of our broadcast, um, here at the end, we will take any questions through the question panel and hopefully be able to answer those. Um, it's like we've got one question so far. Um, how difficult is the implementation between the document management software and SAP? Is programming involved or more plug and play? It's an off the shelf integration uh, between uh, the two applications. Um, you know, the setup and configuration would be more related to you know, getting your SAP uh, asset information imported into Meridian and then the links between the assets and the documents put together. Those can actually be constructed automatically if you have any, um, any way to do that. Um, with Meridian, there's actually some advanced functionality where it can scan your uh, drawings for tag numbers and then automatically link, for instance, like, like a PNID. If you have a PNID drawing, it's got a lot of tag numbers on it. That uh, drawing can be automatically linked 
to all those tag numbers in the system. Or if there's any other electronic data sets uh, that can be used to tie assets to, to uh, documents, then those links can be built automatically in Meridian. Or if not, um, there's tools and commands and forms, and wizards in Meridian to do that. So the uh, really no programming, it's a, it's a matter of uh, like uh, data, data import to get the links built is, is where the, the work would be involved. Other questions? While we're waiting to see if there are other questions, Ashley, um, do you want to proceed with any other wrap-up information that you have? Sure. Um, I'll let you know that if you think of questions later, you can simply reply to that confirmation or reminder email that you receive from GoToWebinar, and we can get those to Matt or your sales rep to get those answered. Uh, once again, if you could take a few moments to fill out the survey, we would appreciate it. It will just pop up as I close down today. And I don't see anything else in the question panel, so we'll go ahead and end things for today. But um, thank you, Matt, for the presentation, and um, thank you, everyone, for attending. Have a great day. Have a great day.